Hello PHPers, Bruce here with a request video. Somebody asked to go over the constructor uh, method that happens when you instantiate a class, okay, in PHP, okay? So let's just start uh, with a PHP tag here. Actually, let me save this. And I am going to save it in my, let's see, where am I going to save it? Let's save it in, uh, why is everything out of order? Applications. Uh, actually, I need to go to my hard drive. I need to go to applications and XAMPP, and then XAMPP files, and then htdocs. And let's just uh, call this, um, let's see, let's just call it construct.php. Construct. Construct. Dot PHP, okay. So let's enter some PHP tags in, and let's create a class, okay? Let's create a class, and we'll call it um, we'll call it dog, okay? And there it is. There's our class, okay? And originally we created um, some variables. We called it legs, and we gave it a value of four, and we created a variable, and say we said uh, for and that equals true, right? And uh, what else? Uh, let's just leave it like that for now, okay? And then we showed you, right? I showed you that you can create a new dog, Fido, issuing the new, uh, the new and then the name of the class dog and you get a new dog, right? And that dog is created and then you could do things like echo out Fido's, right? Um, uh, legs, right? How many legs does Fido have, right? So if I bring up my browser and I go to localhost slash classes, okay, I should see a new one here called construct, and the dog has four legs, okay? So what you can do, okay, this, when you, when you do this line right here, when you instantiate that class in, and create this object, $Fido, okay, it's just going through and doing whatever it has to do, right? It's instantiating these instance variables, right? Okay, it's saying legs is four and fur is true for Fido, okay? So what you can do, okay, is define Okay, a special type of function. It's called a magic method. Underscore underscore construct. Okay, and this function will run when we instantiate the class. Okay, when we instantiate the class. Okay, now it all depends what you want to do, right? And as we showed in class, what we can do is we can set these variables and their scope, right? So we could say, you know, public legs, right? And then we can say private fur, right? And then inside of the constructor, right? We can say things like this, right? Legs equals, you know, four. And then we can say this and then fur, right? Equals true, right? So what's going to happen is when the, uh, they're really the same thing, okay? But just know that you can do certain things when you instantiate, right? When you instantiate the, the object using this class, okay? It's called instantiation or construction. It's constructing, right? Building, right? the object using the class, okay? And during construction, right, instantiation, you can have it do certain things, okay? Now, just to show you too, if we go to uh, php underscore underscore construct, it's gonna take us to the PHP site and it's gonna talk about constructors and destructors. PHP 5 allows developers to declare constructor methods for classes. Classes which have a constructor method 
call this method on each newly created object so it is suitable for any initialization that the object may need before it is used okay so I will just take this URL here and just show ya okay so let's just put it up here as a comment okay so there it is okay so that's you know constructors okay you can read the documentation on destructors okay uh, and which is right right destructors okay it's just another way okay to to do something when the object is 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 removed or or destructed as we say okay and there's lots of examples here for you to go through okay if you have any more questions let me know okay